hi you guys welcome back to another video with the real lovely and as you can see from the title in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a stand for your balloon mosaic this has been a highly requested video and i'm so sorry that i didn't include it in my other mosaic tutorials i just thought that everybody had their own way of how they make their stand but without further ado, let's get straight into this video. As you can see, this is a clip from my previous upload where I made that three feet balloon, the number six balloon mosaic. I do not have a picture or a video from the stand that I put behind it. However, I do have this picture of a number one balloon mosaic that I made sometime last year. That's when I was first um started making balloon mosaic so it looks a little messy but it was the only picture i could find so you guys could get an idea of how it should look as i said this was a highly requested video like i was getting dms and people was in the comments asking how i make the stem behind it i apologize for not including it in my other videos but i do have a clip from my previous upload that i will kind of walk you guys through so you guys can understand it better and will be able to use my little tutorial to make a stand of your own. So I'm gonna try my best to explain my technique to you guys. What I do first is measure out my um, base of my blue mosaic on a piece of foam board and cut out a square or a rectangle piece that won't be shown from the front like if you look at the balloon mosaic from the front you won't be able to see it you can only see it from the back so I make sure that mine go all the way almost to the front of my mosaic and then I left some extra piece at the back that I will use to put a weight on something heavy so it won't tilt over Okay, so after you cut out your foam board for your flat piece of um, base for your mosaic structure, you're going to have to measure out a piece of foam board or two pieces of foam board that should be as tall as half of your mosaic structure. Okay, so as you can see from the picture in front of you, I'm using two arrows to indicate the um, the side pieces that you need to cut out for your structure. I cut out two right angle triangles and they're the same exact size I measure them to be as tall as half of my number one balloon mosaic and I attach those two pieces to the structure and also to the flat piece of base that I cut out earlier the um, piece of foam board that I am cutting out my triangles on is really small and that is because I was making a three feet balloon mosaic so obviously if you're making a six feet balloon mosaic or a five feet balloon mosaic you would have to cut out a bigger piece of foam board than I am and that is to ensure that it's um, big enough or strong enough to hold up the weight of your balloon mosaic because the bigger it is the more balloons they hold and the heavier they are so you have to make sure that your stand is as strong as possible and it won't tilt over it. even though you're gonna be putting a heavy weight on the back of it you still have to make sure that your um, stand is big enough to hold up the weight and it won't rip off of the back of the mosaic
Okay guys, so this is where I kind of like cut off the camera, but everything else is self-explanatory. I glue the flat piece of base on the bottom of it. So the number six um, base or the bottom of the number six has a curve, so my, um, my base ended up being curved in order to fit it but if you're like making a number one or a number four or something that has a flat base then you won't have have to worry about um, curving your um, flat piece foam board so I kind of like cut mine to curve it to fit the bottom of the number six because either way when I put the weight on it it is gonna stay so I kind of wanted everything to look perfect a little bit so that's why I kind of like cut the foam board and make it curve in order to fit the number six perfectly as I said earlier guys this was a highly requested video so I do not have the perfect clips for it so the next time I'm making a balloon mosaic I'll make sure that I have a better tutorial to upload but I wanted to do this and upload it so you guys could get it and kind of have like have an idea of how to do it so basically you're gonna take your flat piece of square or rectangle base and glue it onto the bottom of your balloon mosaic so you put as much glue as you can because you want to make sure that when you put a heavy weight on it that it won't rip right off of your mosaic so put as much glue as you can you gotta hold it tightly so that it don't fall off so after you put that piece on then you're gonna put on your two side pieces and attach it to the foam board and to the flat piece of your base So guys, this is kind of what your um, mosaic stand should look like when you're finished with it. Obviously, you put a weight on the flat piece of your stand, something heavy that will hold up your structure and make it as strong as you can so whenever you put a heavy weight on it, it won't tilt over. As I said, this is the old picture and it's the only picture I could find of the stands that I put on my balloon mosaics. 
so guys please go ahead and subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment in the comment section down below let me know what a, what type of videos you like me to upload or what other tutorial you like to see as I said this video was made in a rush so it might not be as detailed as you might want it a lot of you guys were asking for it so I just went ahead and uploaded what I had but thank you all for watching again and I'll catch you in my next video Thank you.